Okay. You're live. It's up. I don't have my glasses on. Should I wear my glasses? Didn't we do this last time right when we began? No one's on yet, I don't think. No one's here. Uh, hello. Our first, how the hell? Do you want your glasses? No, I, I can read that. So I'm fine. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, everyone. We're hello. excited to be here today. All right. The questions, I mean, the. Comments are coming in fast already. <laughs> Michigan and Iowa, hello. I saw Andrew Yarbrough. Hi, in Andrew. UK. Very tall. Cool. Norway. So I don't know if you guys saw our post uh, about all this, but today is the official three-year mark of the day that Hannah... Uh, oh, we got our first super chat. Ooh, that brings us to what we have decided to do for super chats because we didn't know what to do last time. We have a wheel. When we get a super chat, we will spin the wheel. And let's see, what options do we have on here? Do you guys do them? Nose kiss, you know, like like that. Uh, smooch. Mm -hmm. Tickle Shane. Shane made this. So that <laughs> one's a little bit weird, but uh, Tickle Shane. I don't know. Snuggle. And cheek kiss. I should have put use bathroom on there. How's that easy? Instead so of the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> so we got our first super chat. Yeah. Let's Thank see. you very much, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Let's spin the wheel. Snuggle. Snug That's why <laughs> it was backwards for me, so I didn't read it. For a minute, I was like, Ew. You started and you second guessed yourself. Snuggle. A little snuggle. Mm, I don't really know how to snuggle or sitting here, but. <laughs> Good try. Aww. All right. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, um, thank you. Anyway, three years ago today, Hannah reached out to me for the first time, and that's what began what became this amazing yeah. relationship. And so what we want to do today is go through some of our favorite photos and, like, memories from over the years. We went through all of our old photos yeah. and picked a bunch out. I just talk about uh, all of that. We, uh -oh. wheel, we have another, a wheel to spend. Another super chat. Thank you very much. Uh oh. That's a Tickle um, Shane. It's definitely oh, on Tickle no. Shane. Also, how do you guys feel about my uh my wheel that I made? Well, Hannah made it. I mean, I cut it out, but Shane designed it. it was oh, my, and then another one. Yeah, Let's tick. Okay. It. How do I tickle you? I usually tickle you with uh, my Excuse me, all. <laughs> Shane is <laughs> really ticklish, so as soon as you. <laughs> Stop, stop, stop. We have to keep the tickle short because I'll die. I'll literally tell you. You'll it. die. You'll throw up and die. All right. Another one. I smooch. thought smooch. All right. Mm. Well, let me. We're going to spend the whole you. time doing this. Yeah. All right. Why don't we let them build up and then we'll just do a bunch sure. all at once. All right. So we have an album full of photos here. They're in order, like time order. So we're just going to go through. Can you close it off of that one that you have? Yes. Click to the reason. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go back. To the very beginning. Is your brightness all the, the way up? The first and night Shane and I spent together. For having her screen brightness down. Okay. Thank One you, hour. everyone, for the super chats. We're going to um, we'll group those we'll do two, a right? bunch all at once when we uh, show a few photos. Yeah. So here you. we go. All right. First photo we took together. When we were cuddling for the first time in bed. Wait, let me just wipe my screen. I feel like it's like I'm confused. Here's my dirty phone screen. It's not dirty. It just looks there. That it's kind of dark because it was nighttime. It was our first moment cuddling together. First cuddle. We were so happy. We were so After happy. like three months of nonstop FaceTiming yeah. and just falling further and further in love, we had so much uh, like built up yeah. wanting to. Like, just touched so for the first time. Um, do you remember I asked you to take my shirt off? I was like, well, if you're not cuddle. You yeah, we were bold. I, was like, I kept my shirt on. <laughs> I did in this photo. <laughs> I'm wearing a, a t-shirt. Thank you very much. Let's thank the people that have given. Yeah, clip. thank you so much. So there's three. Let's spin the wheel three times. Real quick. Cheek kiss. Cheek kiss. Aw. You can do my cheek next time. Smooch. Smooch. I wonder how awkward that looks. I know. I, I close my like... eyes, so I don't know. Nose kiss. Nose kiss. This is kind of a hard angle. 
people are actively like throwing signing up. off. They're, they're like, this like, is the actual this is worst. Not what I signed up for. This I know. Is a terrible, terrible. I'm idea. sorry if that's disturbing to you all. You know, we thought we'd experiment or something. Okay? Yeah, if you hate it, let us know. <laughs> okay. So then this photo. Sometimes I just love how interactive you guys are. Thank you. Thanks. Um, okay, so May 12th was when that photo was. Then a month later, I visited again. This is June 8th. And Shane got me a build a bear. So this is us snuggling with our build a bear. Well, how not decorated our build a bear is. Oh, we didn't want to spend the money. So we got the base bear and no accessories. We go into build a bear and immediately every employee there is like, oh, a wheelchair. <laughs> He's here for his bear. Yeah. So obviously there was no way that like we were on a date and I was getting a build a bear for Hannah. They yeah. flopped to us and they were like, What kind of bear does he want to make? <laughs> does he want really to put the heart in it? Um Yeah. What was like the really offer? There was a really was a I woman. made a joke. She asked if we met in the parking lot. No, no, no. I made that joke. Oh, remember? you made that joke. I should tell the punchline there. <laughs> So the woman was like, like I, she thought we were brother and sister yeah. for a while. And then I was like, no, we're dating. And she was like, how did you meet? And we, I, I said, yeah, I'd be hilarious. It was like, oh, we met in the parking lot on just, the way just in. Just now. Oh, yeah, just today. And she goes, oh. oh yeah, she thought we were serious. That was real. We were like, no, 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 It was no, no, so no, uncomfortable. No. Anyway, that bear's name is Boy Toy, and he's in our bedroom right now. Then this photo is the next day, and it is, we went to a Louis C.K. comedy show. I got Shane tickets for his birthday. Louis C.K. was one of my favorite comedians before all of the <laughs> other Louis C.K. Yeah, stuff Yeah, this was out. a while ago, so um, we didn't so know about all of that. Pretty bummed about all that, but um, do you but remember back that? Then, we were excited about it. That show, we went to that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you were halfway there. The show was like an hour and a half away. We we're like halfway there. And I was like, you have your ID, right? And you were like, no. Like, why do I need my ID? And I was like, well, one, we're driving. And two, I, know. <laughs> two, I think that you need it to like get in, like to show you're an I adult didn't, or I something. Didn't know. And I also think you have the, the tickets. tickets were under my name. No, I had the tickets on my phone. I didn't think I needed an ID to show you the uh, tickets. Yeah. Anyway. We like stopped and um, called I, a yeah. We called friend of mine. we called Shane's friend and she got sh my wallet from Shane's house and brought it to her house, which was right near where we were. So we like went there and got it, and then we got to the comp to the show and like walked in the door, and they were like Ooh, wheelchair, like this way, this way, and then we like passed all of the lines, and they like took us in this back elevator, and they were like, "What section are you?" And we were like. Didn't ask to see our tickets. I don't know, the accessible one. And yeah, they were like, we're, oh, okay, it's probably on this floor. They just took us through our seats. They were like, here you go. No tickets. We, 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 I mean, she bought, bought tickets. I bought them, and they were like $50 each. I was annoyed. I was like, okay, well, this was a waste of money. I could have just been like, I'll take you for your birthday. But if you use a wheelchair and you are wanting to risk it a little bit, um, yeah. You can try what we did. We, no, but we wanted to, like, we were like, ooh, like, we should do this again. But I I've never had the courage yeah, to not buy afraid. tickets yeah. and show up to something. Imagine that we go in and we're like, yeah, uh, handicap yeah. section, or like, your tickets. And we're just like, no, no. I thought no. handicap. That's the wheelchair. <laughs> oh, stop it. Okay, should we spin the wheel a couple of times? Yeah, let's put these and, like, read their names and say thank you. Okay, we have Chelsea. Chelsea, thank you. Some of them might have timed out. I hope that they didn't. Teresa, thank you. you. Sarah, Sarah, thank you. Uber, Uber Tales, thank you. All right, so let's spend it like I see like five or six. We got a lot. We definitely missed some. I'm sorry. It's right no. in the middle. I'm spinning. Yeah. Smooch. That's a smooch. Tickle Shane, <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I did not deal with that. You're horrible. Why did you put that on? You hate being tickled. Nose kiss. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, seriously? You got some snot on me, I think. Tickle shame what again. Tickle shame. <sighs> it's tickle shame. So just do it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just do it. Nose kiss. Nose I kiss. think we should have had more options. That's the problem. Because <laughs> <laughs> now we're doing this. <laughs> over and over and over again. 
Snuggle. Snuggle. Oh. And I'm going to give you a neck area mm, to get into. All oh. right, should we show our next photo? Yeah, we got a few more though. Let's yeah. Uh, Thank you, Nicole. Here we go. Yeah, thank you, Nicole. What kind of wedding do we want? Oh, I don't even know. I look, I can't answer that. I've never really thought about small, my wedding. A small wedding. A small wedding, true. Yeah. Maybe a destination wedding. Okay. No, not a destination wedding. I wanted to get married. You know where I wanted to get married in Poland. Don't say not a destination wedding. Okay. Um, this is a good try. That while it's the a, next day, these are like three story. days in a row. We went to visit my friend who went to Princeton. So we went to New Jersey. It was right near Shane's house, and she. Is this inappropriate to tell? No, no, no. We went swimming. We went swimming. That's all that matters. Yeah. So this is us. Swimming. Hanging around outside of the pool. It was so beautiful that day. Aww. And while we were swimming, something about the chemicals in the pool reacted with my loins, my unders, if you will. <laughs> and we get, you? we get out of the pool. And my unders are my unders. Are like no one thing. wants to hear about your unders. It's a part of the story. They were on fire, like burn, like chemical burn level. Um, and I suffered for a lot of that day because I don't know what was in that pool, but it chemical burned me. I think <laughs> not actually. That was zero percent necessary to the picture. No one needed to know about yeah, that. That's what I remember from I that day. I forgot about that. I don't even remember that from that day. Why would we care about the burn in your unders? Jesus. Okay, then this is... Oh, two months later. We're skipping ahead Thank to you, another Aaron. visit. I'm just, I, Thank you, Aaron. I, I think we're missing some. Yeah, we have to do a few spins. Should we do some spins? Yeah. I'm trying to see. If you miss it... Thank you, Tracy. She's we have Minnesota. this really fun spinner reel. Seductive wink. Oh, that would have been a good one. You're you good at winking. Some, oh, wait. I'll just do one. You can do that for Abby. Ready? Oh, you're good at winking. I'm, I'm not, I'm not Shall really. Shall I? Me? Uh -huh. I just did. Oh, I missed it. You blew it. <laughs> no, I didn't. Hey, this is Hannah's I think wink. I winked. This is Hannah's Don't be mean. I'm not good at winking. Wait, wait. Let me do your sexy wink. This is Hannah's sexy wink. Ready? This is a character I've been working on for a while. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're rude. Okay, thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. So that's about to smart CBD shop. shop. Thank you. I appreciate that. Lauren and B. So let's spin it like three times. Let's do three spins. Tickle Shane. Yeah. Well, this is just my absolute favorite, isn't <laughs> so, it? Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, Cheat kiss. God, that got me. Yeah, YouTube does take 30% of the super chat. Someone just said that. Cheat kiss. Mm hmm. I, mean, I did to do a cheat so soon. True. Next I'm sorry. Time. Don't Snuggle. forget. Snuggle. Give me Aww. a spot. Hmm. All right. Next photo, August 9th. Like I said, two months ahead. Thank you, everyone. There's not really... Oh, I want this to, like, adjust. Yeah, yeah. There's not really a story to this. It's just us on the couch in Shane's basement where we spent so many hours. A lot of our time, yeah. A lot of our time. That was, like, like, our room when I would come visit. Yeah, and our daily, like... Hang out. Or, I mean, what am I saying? Our daily hangout? During the day, we would like, do activities. Oh, yeah. And Hannah visited. And then every night, our routine was like, because there was a bed down there. That was like my room. Um, so we'd sleep down there. We'd head down with snacks. Yeah. And watch a movie. Tea. Mm -hmm. I would always make tea. Excuse me. And we would head on that couch. I miss that couch. I miss that couch, too. It was so comfy. All right. This is the next day. This is us in the car on our way to some restaurant, I'm sure. And really the only story, there's not, I don't remember where we were going or anything, it but it's interesting because Shane's wearing his neck brace that he used to wear in the car when we would drive. Yeah. Which is when good, anyone would drive with him. A good indication of how much stronger my neck muscles have gotten. Yeah. I don't need that in the van anymore. Yep. If you're um, new to our story, I receive a treatment for my disease called spinraza that makes my muscles not get weaker anymore as I get older. Um, and has made you a little stronger. Yeah. And so uh, that's it. I can't believe I used to wear that. And I, I, know, like, I every, forgot like, about that. Religiously, yeah. like you couldn't go without it. Because otherwise my head would fall off. Yeah. I didn't like that. 24 yeah. and 25. 
Oh, we did that one. We did that one. Thank Ronaldo. you, Ronaldo. And Heather. And thank you, Heather. A special yeah. anniversary dinner. Actually, we're going to have a dinner tonight. Yeah, we're going to make risotto, actually. We don't yeah. know what kind yet. We have a little cookbook that Shane's mom got us, so yeah. we're going to pick one. all different risotto dishes. Tickle Shane. <laughs> that, There's that something was, about yeah. the way that I'm I just, spinning this. I, I think you invaded it. Snoggle. Snoggle. Mm. Mm. All righty, let's see. Oops, oh man, I lost my spot. Okay, this is a couple of days later, we visited New York City, and this was the visit to New York City that ended up getting us our battery tattoos. So we have yeah. a couple of pictures from this visit. And this whole story is in my upcoming book, Strangers Assume My Girlfriend Is My Nurse. Yeah, so we won't spoil it, it for spoil you. We won't spoil all the uh, excited stuff. This is Shane. In New York City, he travels in the bike lane because it's smoother than the sidewalk. Yeah. Fun fact. I don't know how the measures feel about that. Probably not happy. The sidewalk's too bumpy. I'm just like throwing it all around. So the bike lane's a lot easier. That's us happy right as we arrived. We didn't know yet that the day would be. It was so hot that day. Different than me. That's it was so hot. Hear me. Can you see the timestamp? On that photo? At 9.30 a.m. And we are sweating. Oh, yeah. We're, we're pretty gross but, in that photo. Yeah, we are There's a picture of us completely drenched. I didn't put it in here. Um, because we had to, like, wet ourselves with a water fountain. It was so hot. Do you remember? In Central Park? In Central Park, yeah. Yeah. And I was sick. Got. And I was sick. So I was like. I was sick. Do you remember I was coughing and, like, hacking me? That was time? me. That was me. I was it sick. Was, okay. I know for a fact that I had a horrible cough that summer. You've, you've rewritten history. <laughs> I was the one that was sick in that on that trip was it a different new york city trip when i was really sick maybe but that remember i was drinking the water in the park and like coughing and like too tired to like keep yelling because i was coughing i'm sure this is shane charging his dying wheelchair battery across from an exhibit in the smithsonian Muse natural history museum that was as my chair began to as you can see he is not happy i don't know if you can tell <laughs> <laughs> expression on his face <laughs> Not pleased at all. My chair began to die really rapidly. And in the story, uh, in my book, I talk about how that day ended up yeah. kind of in catastrophe. But it was also a lot this of is, This is... Oh, that is the fair. This is the... A sweaty fair. Oh, yeah. We're sweaty and gross. That is at the end of the day. <laughs> when all of our plans had been ruined. <laughs> but it was fun. And we got a tattoo to commemorate it. All right, two days later, we went to Marblehead Chowder House, and we took this picture in the parking lot. I, I love, really like it. I love that you're giving the chronology of this. Well, it's all in order, and I figure I may as well say how far apart they were. It's nice. No, I appreciate that. So that's us going into our favorite restaurant. That's really all I have to say about that. We look good. Wait, hold it back up. We do look really good. It's a really good photo, and it was beautiful outside. Yeah. That was before we stopped caring about you know, impressing each other with our looks. Yeah, I would, like, get ready and everything and look nice. I was wearing, like, an actual shirt. Thank you, Riley. Riley just pre-ordered my new book. Oh, really, yay. really appreciate that. Let's do a few spins. Yeah, let's. Thank you, Jessica. Wait, let me go in order. Yeah, Jessica. Thank you. Thank Aaron, you, Aaron. Thank you. Oh, she had to go. Um, And then Riley. Let's do a couple of spins. That's isn't a paper hot my arm. Cheek kiss. I don't have better at that. All right. Than you. Nose kiss. No, it takes you guys. Oh. That's cute too. You're so rude. Tickle Shane. A good last one to end on. <laughs> Aw. You're so ticklish. Okay. Next, we went to your high school. Do you remember? Shane this, didn't go to no high school. For no reason. What? Well, you wanted to. No, I'm, I'm, you weren't in high school. You had uh, already graduated from college. Shane but, didn't get that. No, <laughs> he took me back to his high school to see what it looked like. Yeah, really, it was just because it was like it was late at night one night, and we didn't have an activity to do. So I was like, let's walk to my high school, and then we took this adorable shadow photo. Yeah, there was a big wall, and it was making perfect shadows. So Can we I took. Can it's be artsy. Yeah, it's artsy and cute. Think it's artsy. I think it's artsy. That uh -huh. was that was our first photo that ever like blew up on Instagram. People are like, "This is adorable." Oh, uh, it is adorable. You have a hair on your nose. Okay. Oh, did you didn't notice? Kiss me. Oh, uh, then at the end of the month, this was a different visit. Now I came back like two weeks later. Uh, we I was starting school. This is August thirty first, so I was going to go back to my sophomore year of school. I guess. This is okay. actually our first summer together. 
Yeah. And at this point, we realize, so, like, we can't be apart. So that's yeah. why you came back two weeks later. Yeah. We were like, well, this sucks. Before I go back to school for, like, nine months. Yeah, so we're miserable. So we were planning on seeing each other again, like, after my break for Thanksgiving. For so November. it was going to be, like, a good three months. So yeah. we knew we would be apart for uh, Halloween, so we carved a watermelon. We tried to find a pumpkin, but they don't sell them in August. <laughs> That so was we, we named it something. Do you remember? I don't remember the name. We did name it something. It was good. It was pretty cute. We also attempted to make watermelon juice oh, from yeah. the insides. Not good. But we didn't like puree it. I don't really know. We just put chunks. We just threw the pineapple in Not a jug. Watermelon. Watermelon in a jug and then added water to it. Yeah, it was terrible. But it all like separated and pulpy. And but it was very pulpy. All right, so on that same trip, we went to Peddler's Village, which is this really cute town. It's not really a town. It's in a town, but it's like this shopping area, but it's meant to look really old. Yeah. It's adorable. It's quite Shopping doesn't give it the right feel. I know. It doesn't feel like a shop. It does. It's just like a nice outdoor. There's like a, there's like a, like, like, like a pond and like a wind, like a water turbine. It's like adorable. So yeah, yeah, you see a little fairy place like, yeah i would mean, expect to see fairies yeah like fluttering in the air yeah so we went there this is a photo of us there let me um this is also where i had a puke on the sidewalk in public this is the day before actually this is the day before is this the same day let me see this is the second no the next day we spent the day in new hope which is a town in pennsylvania that's really cute new and hope might be in new jersey in in new jersey yeah is, is it New Hope? There's another it's one. There's two towns belt. together. Yeah. Um, and yeah. we had a great meal. And then that night is when <laughs> the wine story happened. And the next morning is when I threw up. That story is on our channel if you yes. go back and find the video. About My most embarrassing moment Hera. is what it's called. Hannah's, I almost called you Hera. <laughs> Hannah's most embarrassing moment. We should read a couple of these. Hold on. Uh, Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Ada. Whoa. Wait, I'm. Losing Those are old ones. Yeah. Yeah, Andrea, Ada, please make a Scorpion Grubs t-shirt. We really want to. We're working on it. Yeah, <laughs> we asked people for, we asked like designers to contact us. So we're going to try to work with someone. And thank you, Dan. Get yourself a beer, Shane. Thank you, Dan. You will. I will, right now. Just then. Let's someone also it. said if they could see the rats. And I don't know where that is on here. I'm confused. I think it might have gone uh, away. I think you might be making that up. I'm not. A super chat did. They're right there, but they're not out. We're they're hiding there. in there blue strawberry hut that they love i love that lauren asked what the meaning behind the name screaming grubs are you can actually watch a video about that we talked about it in our 100,000 subscriber episode we can just tell them too if you want yeah sure you can tell them while i spin uh these are uh i'm losing my train of thought i mean i had to lose my mind when you kissed me oh i mean grubs are the nicknames that we gave each other very early on is a snuggle. Yeah, it's snuggle. Very early on in our relationship, I began calling Hannah Stormy because she moves too much in bed at night, like <laughs> violently shapes and moves. It's just like, yeah. yeah. And then you began calling me drugs. I did because Shane's hands sweat a lot. <laughs> That's honestly why his hands are always kind of grubby, and I'd be like, "Oh, your hands are so grubby." I, it's not a bad thing, but yeah. So I called him Grubs. Yeah. So then we named that. Uh, we named our channel that because yeah, it's cute. Yeah. All right. Let's do more. Photos. Someone's asking what our parents' first impressions of each other were. We do talk about our parents and what they think about our relationship in our first ever Q and A. Basically, there's no reason to have a live stream. You can find all this info no. in our old video. I'm just letting you. I'm, I don't want to say it like we're not ignoring those, but we have answered those in our first Q&A. Yeah. We talk a lot about our parents and stuff. Did Shane go to your swim meets? Shane did go to all of my swim meets except for one that was not accessible. He could Ooh, not go. I was mad that day. I was mad that day, I too. I was so mad. Yeah, I was annoying. Yep. You know what we should do? We don't need to do it right now, but I just had an idea. With all these people watching... If everyone tweeted the hashtag like Spermy and Drugs at once, uh -huh. I bet you it would get turned down. Like if everyone on did Twitter? it. On Twitter? I don't have yeah. a Twitter, so I'm not really familiar. Don't let's not do it now. We'll save that for another time. I just had that idea. Aww. Like if everyone did it 
And then we just all tag Ellen and be like, get them on Ellen. All oh. right. Let's put another tag. Not all right. Let's see. What other photos do I have? All so right. I'm, wait, I'm going to answer that. Shane, do you find it annoying when people call you in uh, inspiring? Yeah. Um, it's mostly when they do it for something like being out at the grocery store yeah. or like for smiling in a photo <laughs> when they're like, how are you being happy is so inspiring. Yeah. Because I live a really good life. I should be happy. Um, and living with a disability is not automatically like a negative existence. Um, so yeah, I find that annoying. If people are inspired by my work or our work, like I get emails from high school students that are like, you've inspired me to be a writer. That makes me really happy. Yeah. Um, and I love that. So uh yeah yeah didn't someone say something really great never mind yeah <laughs> i don't remember that quote but i can't remember it so we do have a business email billy's asking that it's squirmy and grubs at gmail.com yes yep can't you like click something on our channel that says email yeah it's in the about page on yeah our there's definitely YouTube like a channel. thing on our youtube yeah all right this is from october um, so I actually, so we thought that we wouldn't see each other. That was in August when we carved the watermelon and then Shane and had was, an event to go to. And so I flew out for like two days. It was, I was like two or three days. It was depressing. He was receiving an award. So I flew out to go to this event with him. This was our first event where we dressed up. Yeah. I have to focus there. Yeah. Fancy. You look so fancy. Aw. You remember your Birkin, what do they tell them? Yeah, Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks that you dress. I love that look. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to bring one pair of shoes. I didn't, because I only had like a backpack. And I was like, I can't fit another. <laughs> it was fine. It was like a summary of that. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah. And I didn't care. I don't care about that stuff. All right. We didn't see each other for two more months. Three more months. From October to December. Um, I guess that's two months. And, and then I came to visit... Hannah in Minnesota for the first time. Yep. And so back then I really didn't have the whole flying situation really figured out that well. Yeah. So my brother and his girlfriend and I drove to Minnesota um, to meet Hannah's parents and to hang out with Hannah for a few days. Yeah. So it was also my birthday. This is on December 18th. My birthday is December 12th. So they brought these gross cupcakes that I love. What are they called? Tasty Taste, cakes. Tasty cakes. Yeah. They're like uh, they're like those little Debbie hostess like cupcakes, hostess, kind yeah. of like that, but a Pennsylvania version. And let me turn this sideways; it might be bigger to see. So they brought those, and they remember you guys didn't have a lighter, so we had them. We had like candles, but didn't light them. So that's <laughs> me pretending to blow out candles that were lit <laughs> in the hotel room in Minneapolis when they yeah. arrived. And we brought champagne and didn't have a bottle opener. Yeah. It was just a catastrophe. But it was fun. It was fun. And, it, yeah, it was whatever. and then we took our first visit to the Mall of America. <laughs> I'm so much is all those wheelchair symbols. Aww, <laughs> I love you. that. I don't know how you do that. Um, so then we went to the Mall of America for our first time. And this is a photo of that. Yep. First time in the Mall of America. It's all white. That, I remember, was the first moment. You helped me pick my nose or like wipe really? my nose. Yeah. I I hadn't wiped your nose before then. I, you probably wiped it, but I think you like. Oh, like, with like my actual finger I, or something? Well, like a tissue, but yeah. And, and I only remember it because I was like, I have a, oh, yeah, I have a bridger. And you were like, I'll get it. And I was like, okay. And you like began like getting it with a tissue. And it was not coming out easily. And then I like became aware of my surroundings and saw a table full of people just staring at us. Oh, I was hanging out like digs around. I didn't my care. Hands. I was like, I'm gonna get it. Whatever. I was still spin for Isabel. Thank you, Isabel. Yeah, thank you. We really appreciate that. And an A bomb. A bomb. Thank you. Two spins. Two spins on the love wheel. Cheat kiss. Cheat kiss. Which one do you want? I'll do you. Have we done another one? Yeah, nose kiss. Kiss my nose. Kiss my nose. Snuggle. Snuggle. Oh. Should we do another? Yeah, we got two more. We have Aaron. Aaron. 
Thank you, my, my plans after graduation, how did my thesis turn out? I don't know how it turned out. We don't find out until after they've like Snuggle. read it for a while. Snuggle. But you're happy with it. Oh yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out, but I, I haven't gotten feedback. And it's also pass fail. So I turned in like four drafts before that. And my professor, my advisor didn't say I failed those. Like she was and pleased. you're doing well with it. Yeah, okay. so I would be shocked yeah. if I failed. That would be pretty, <laughs> that, would be, that would blindside me. Are you so up? I saw one that is not up there now, but it was on the chat. It was asking how we connected with Chris from SBSK. Well, I just want to say thank you. Thank, thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. That one. Lottie. Thank you, Lottie. Thank you, Lottie. We just emailed Chris on the main, on his like main website um, info thing and just told him our story and yeah. he reached out to us like months later. Yeah, like, I thought like, yeah. he didn't hear it, like he wasn't able to do it, but then he was in our area and he was like, hey, I'd love to film an episode. We were like, oh, okay, nervous, but cool. so nervous. All right, let's do more photos. Yeah. Um, oh, this is the first photo we ever took with my mom. Shane had just met my mom for the first time. I was so nervous. And this was at my niece's Christmas concert for school. Aww. Aww. Thank you, Eunice. Yeah, thank you. Oh, <laughs> um, I got Shane a beer, like a table mini pong game, like beer pong. Um, and she knows it. I would love to be able to play beer pong. True, but he couldn't play well, with can't play the in a normal way. So it's this little thing where you like flip it with your finger and like the ball goes into the cups. It's so much fun. This is us playing with just water. My nieces were playing with us, which is probably inappropriate. But we played that game so many times. Yeah, your all your little nieces ran over. Yeah. They're between the ages of like five and twelve. <laughs> yeah. And we're playing this explicit game. And we're like, all right, water, you yeah. can play too. Well, but we never played with we've never played it with beer, because I refuse to drink beer. That's probably why. Yeah, you don't like beer. Sad for you. This is cool. Okay, so Shane's uncle, your uncle, right, lives in Connecticut and works at the, he works as like the person that collects animals. The head animal like care. Care person, the care uh, animal right, care right, person. Yeah. Um, so he like goes to like different zoos and like swaps sharks with them like whatever i don't know like he he manages the animals at this aquarium um and he took us on a behind the scenes tour so this is us looking down into the shark tank yeah that you normally can't see which was so cool it was really cool yeah. and he just like took us around the entire place and like talked about all the animals and like all their names like they all have names and stuff we were like in the like, behind the scenes like behind all the tanks and stuff it was so cool that was so fun. And then in that same visit, so I'm originally from Connecticut and that's where I grew up. Um, we visited Connecticut and went to my favorite restaurant that I so desperately miss. This is a pizza place called Rosini's. It has the best pizza in the entire world. That's really all I have to say about it. Thank you, Riley. It's a wonderful memory. We've been to Massachusetts. Well, I've been to Massachusetts. Boston's in Massachusetts, right? Yep. I love Boston. I don't like driving in Boston, but I love everything else about Boston. You've been to Boston, right? I have. I used to swim at a swim meet there every year. Oh, yeah. From 13 to 18. Someone asked if a service dog would be of any help to you. We're actively looking into getting a service dog. And we are. from what we understand so far, the process takes a while. Yeah. And there's a few different ways to go about it. Um, so we'll be updating you on all that as it progresses. Yeah. Probably closer to this summer is when it'll really begin. Who was that? I missed that question. I don't know. Oh. Emily asked where in Connecticut. First Hamden and then Wallingford, right on the Wallingford Cheshire border. Um so then this is also this this isn't Wallingford, this is a pet store that has puppies. And now that is horrible. Like I fully I don't support pet stores that have puppies, but they do let you play with them. I've never purchased a puppy from the pet store. Like I don't support them. However it is fun to sometimes go in and look at the puppy. So we did that. And that is Shane holding a little puppy. We named it Flappy. It was a girl, I think. I don't really remember. Flappy. So I miss we Flappy. snuggled with that puppy and then didn't buy it. They were also very expensive. It's really a terrible place, but I, I did I did love you it. You might as well like, give the dogs a fun time while there. Yeah, well, they were there. Yeah, so it's like, well, I may as well go play with them. I'm not going to buy anything. 
Yeah, I would go in there all the time and play with the puppies and I never bought anything. They probably were like, you can't do this. What? I'd be like, can I see that one, please? Like, they're thinking that I'm going to buy it. I've gone in, like, once a year from the time that I was, like, eight to the time I was 19. Someone said, is it wise to eat an entire sleeve of Thin Mints in one sitting? Yeah. Yes. I have nothing against that. I mean, you might get a stomach ache, but. That reminds me that it's, it's like, isn't it the season of Girl Scout selling Girl Scout cookies? It is. We need to buy some. Mm. I know. I think Thin Mints are probably my favorite. No, those peanut butter ones. Peanut butter patties. <sighs> They might be called something else. Ooh, they, Mine are them. the Samoas. Those are my favorites. Yeah. Thank you, Patricia. Let's see a few spins. We've gotten a few more that went unspun. Where did I get this shirt? Amber's asking. So okay. this shirt says, I love someone. It looks crooked, but it's not. I love someone who is S amazing. Shane's nonprofit actually sells these. Laughing at Shane my nightmare.com. S amazing. Can you repeat that for everyone? Laughing at my nightmare.com. Is it dot com? Yeah, laughing at my nightmare.com. You can get one. I think we have them in stock right now. It's so comfy. This shirt is also just like very, very soft. I love it. The funds that we earn selling these helps us provide vital equipment to people that live with muscular dystrophy. So it's a tell us. <laughs> is it a good cause? Tell us more about it, Shane. Uh, that's smooch, I think. Smooch. I was trying to do a big one. You didn't a nose. Let's see, let's see a nose rubby. <laughs> I appreciate if you didn't exhale as we do that. You're so rude. <laughs> that was lip and okay. A rose in December asked if you ever had if you ever had hospitalizations as a kid. You definitely did. Yes, yeah, from like two to seven. When I had at seven I had my first, my only spinal fusion surgery where they straighten my spine and attach your metal rod to it. Before that, I got pneumonia all the time because I was really like bent over and my lungs were like breaking. So I was in the hospital a lot as a kid. Luckily, I don't remember a whole lot of it. I guess I've like blocked that out over the years. Um, but I went to Children's Hospital in Philadelphia very often. Uh, Daddy Schmucker was asked, what's the best hate comment you guys have ever received? And I so oh, badly God. want to answer that. You probably don't. Shane doesn't like to talk about the negative comments. I don't. I just think everyone's dumb that acts like that. And we should ignore them. I mean, we're doing advocacy in our own way. But I you can talk know. about by, like which one is your favorite. No, I would have to look. It's okay. It'll just take time. I want to do an entire video about the negative comments we've yeah, received. Yeah, I definitely will. I, I That'll be that. really funny responding to negative yeah. comments. How many warmies does Shane eat in a week? That's such a good question. Probably like six to eight, maybe. Yeah, so a sleeve, like a normal serving of them is three. Yeah. But he never really eats all three. So I would say he has them like three times a week. So two each time, maybe. Mm -hmm. maybe about six a week. Yeah. All right. So then this is in. March. So we went from December to March without seeing each other, I'm pretty sure. Um, and this was my sophomore year. So after March, I was leaving for London for four months. No, this was that that trip? Yep. I don't think that was so. this one when we were like crying on the balcony. I was crying on the balcony. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Our first time to Ocean City, we've only gone twice. The first time was that. The second time was when you were moving here. Right. So yeah, I was leaving for four months. It was really depressing. And like four months in London. Yeah. So, so the like time difference. Big time difference. The lack of like FaceTime availability. Yeah. We were we were not happy about no. that. But we went to Ocean City for a couple of days before you left. Yeah. Just to kind of like have a fun time and try to keep our minds off of it, which we didn't. As no, it said, was, I was like crying. Yeah, it was, it was terrible. Just like tears and lots of like. You were like, I'm not going. And yeah. I was like, no. Like, yeah. And it ended up being amazing. Like, you loved it. And I, I felt bad for you. But you you were fine. You know? Like, I feel like I would have been, if you were in London having a great time and I was home, I would have been, like, jealous of that. And you weren't like that. But we had our fair share of moments that were, like, difficult. Yeah. You know? Oh, it's like getting there. Oh. Keep your head straight. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I can't look at you. This is us on the balcony, probably right after I was crying. It was in It was March. cold. Yeah, it's March. It so was it was like, like 50. 30? No, it was older than 50. It was 50. It was not 30. Some days it was 30, but here we would, maybe it was. But Shane was wrapped in the comforter because it was cold. 
then this is in July. So July 1st, I came back from London. Greetings from Norway. Thank you, Andreas. Ooh, Norway. Andreas, is that, am I saying that right? I don't know. How would I know? That's mm -hmm. really cool. You're more worldly than I am. <laughs> Uh -huh. So July 1st, I came back and flew to Pennsylvania and Shane at the airport <laughs> waited outside like a baggage claim with this sign <laughs> strapped to his wheelchair. And your flight was delayed. So I was out there for a while. He was out there for like an hour. Because I got there. arriving. You guys know that I like to be early. So I was there well before the plane was scheduled to land. All set up with my sign, like ready to survive you. And uh -huh. then the, the uh, flight was delayed. So hundreds and hundreds of people walked by me, just posing with my with the sign squirming, me. And it's not a even small, a name. A small airport where people are not doing that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I came, and then that kicked off our one month road trip. Mm -hmm. From that day, we left, like, we spent July 4th uh, with your family, remember? And then we left on the 5th for yep. our our month-long road trip. Yep. So our first stop was in, was this, where was this? Shipshawana. Was it Shipshawana, Indiana? Indiana. So this is us. Uh, we arrived at 7 p.m. Yeah, it was around 7. And on the way, like, around 6, we were like, we're getting really hungry. Like, let's stop for food. And so I brought up, like, <laughs> Google and began looking for places and everywhere was closing like before we would get there. Yeah, nothing was open. By seven, every restaurant, I believe, in Indiana yeah, was closed. We could down. find none. There was nothing. None within like three hours of us. And to be fair, it was like a very uh like rural. Yeah, rural, unpopulated area. But like even the McDonald's, I feel like, or like the subway was closed at like seven. Yeah. Um, so we ended up at a little family grocery store. It's called Miller's. Called Miller's. This is us picking out our dinner. Picking we out sad. our dinner. We got like microwave meals. Yeah, you got a sausage toaster scramble, and I got a Smart Ones Weight Watchers pasta to microwave. It was so bad. We were also banking on the fact that the hotel would have a microwave. Which at that point we were like, oh, hi, it might not. Yeah, right? if it didn't, I should have gotten some chips. <laughs> it did, though. Uh, our dinner was delicious. It was bad. I remember it was actually bad. Later in that trip, we ended up in Chicago. Where yeah. we that was our this. next stop the next day. We That's, were excited. That was in the middle of a road. Yeah, we tried to get a photo in the middle of the bridge intersection. I think we made it. It's cute. It is cute. I love that photo. We look so happy. What? And then this is us in front of the bean. We had a selfie stick on this trip, actually. And it was summer. Oh, I can't wait for summer. Yeah. And being outside. Then this is the Mall of America, and this was the day that I dropped Shane on the Ferris wheel. <laughs> yeah, that was that was that day. There's a video about that, if you haven't heard that story. Yeah, it's the time that I dropped Shane. Or... Almost dropped me out of the Ferris wheel. Yeah, which is I like gave him a concussion, I think. Yeah. It was really... It wasn't funny at the in the moment. This is us in front of the Cherry and Spoon in Minneapolis at the Walker Sculpture Garden. Very, very cool. Pretty, area, very yeah. cool. So an outdoor and indoor museum, art museum in Minneapolis. Yeah. Someone asked what my bre my best stroke is. That is breaststroke. My best stroke. Thought the spoon was St. Paul. I think this and the Walker Center. I think is in Minneapolis, right? Pretty sure. I don't know. It has a view of Minneapolis. I don't know where it actually is. Then we went to the Badlands. Remember? Yeah, the Badlands were awesome. So we were driving out to Yellowstone. We went through the Badlands. We were, I loved that. That was really fun. I like that a lot because the Badlands were really good for like wheelchair accessibility. They had really nice paths. All of the national parks that we went to actually did. Had really great paths. Especially the Badlands. Yeah. Or like wooden. Raised up wooden ones but were accessible. But in the Badlands, even not on the paths, I just like get right up to the edge. Yeah, we have a video of that. Of these giant cliffs where if I messed up, I would have plummeted. Yeah, you were not protected by fences or anything. Yeah. You liked that. That was cool. Then this is us at Yellowstone in front of that. Fame, famous, fancy, whatever that is. Yeah, the, no, no. 
Geyser? No. no. Hermetic. There is a. Yeah, there's a, a name of it, for... and I forget what it is, but. And then we were leaving uh, Yellowstone and we drove down south through, I mean, it's still Wyoming, but the Teton National mm -hmm. Forest. Forest yeah. And this view just like popped up in front of us. Like we were not expecting it at all. And Shane was like, pull over. And I like swerved the car over. Like we, like, I think I might've reversed on the wrong side of the road to get here, but we had to get out. It was so pretty. And I was able to get right up to that water in my chair. Yeah. Which was really totally done. And that was where I saw the ground squirrel. Do you remember? The ground squirrel, yeah. Yeah, I saw a ground squirrel, like this bizarre breed of squirrel that I had never seen before. They were mice, I'm pretty sure. No, or it wasn't a mouse. Well, no, it wasn't a chipmunk. It wasn't stripey. Yeah, so our little uh, moment to stop in was at the mountains ended in Hannah chasing around the mice for an hour. It was so cute. Old Faithful. We did go to Old Faithful. And then this is Shane getting his tattoo in Denver. I was next. Yep. This dude, his name is Drew, I believe. Oh, good Why memory. do I remember that? I don't know. He tattooed both of us. That was yeah, cool. Yeah, that was really cool. Thank you, your name goes here. Aww. We appreciate that. Should we spin? Let's just spin for your name goes here. If anyone has suggestions for what else we should put on this, uh, that'd be Yeah, helpful. or other ideas for... Or other ideas for what we should do when we get this. Tickle Shane. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. Why do you say stop every time? Because I don't want you to keep going. All right. Oh, this is my favorite. This was in uh, Texas. We were in this tiny town in Texas. This is in Amarillo. Amarillo. This yeah. is downtown Amarillo, but we were we were staying in a smaller town. I think it was even smaller. And we went to a drive-in movie. So this is us sitting, waiting for the movie to start. It was like eight, like 80 degrees at night and we yeah. had the windows open it was so perfect it was beautiful and we ate pizza that we bought from a little pizza place nearby. it was really good i was surprised and the movie was like planet of the apes four yeah or, neither of us had ever yeah it was like I number four and we were like none of us have ever seen one two or three and the screen wasn't bright enough so <laughs> it was such a dark movie if you've you seen planet see of the it. apes 90 percent of it is like pitch black and like them creeping around at night and like you could see none of it <laughs> But it was it was just the atmosphere. Yeah, it was a nice atmosphere. That's one of my favorite memories. This is us in Texas where we were staying. Yeah, we stopped at a whole uh, hotel, and for some reason, they upgraded us. Yeah, they don't. Remember it was why. like a, it was like a surprise. They were like, uh, "Just so you know, like we've upgraded you to our like whatever suite," and we were like, "Thanks." Yeah, we, didn't we played. We paid why. with points. Do you remember that? Oh, it was because of the points. We had paid with James, like points credit, his card, credit points. card points so i don't know but i think they just like randomly selected us to be nice um it wasn't even a disability thing because it was like before we got there you know yeah. so i don't know what it was but we were lucky and it was a gorgeous hotel room yeah so pretty and we like walked in and there was a balcony and yeah. we looked down we didn't even know the hotel had like a pool this was just yet. like on our route it was yeah. a random place in texas um, Rock wall, Texas. Rock wall. Yeah. Like, not what you think of when you're thinking of, like, beachy vacation resort yeah. places, but it was on this beautiful lake, and then we looked down, and there was a giant pool. And, and a live concert. Concert. Like, a community, not with the hotel, a community concert, and, like, boardwalk right by the hotel, and Gloria's, which is a restaurant that we ate at for two nights in a row. Yeah, it was the best, best food ever. Delicious. Mm. It was like Mexican and what Venezuelan, Argentinian, Argentinian food. Yeah, it was so yeah, yeah. good. Like the actual, some of the best food I've ever had. We all want to think she's your nurse because you're the prettiest woman in the world. Now put, now put right a ring on her finger. But why can't I be the prettiest <laughs> woman in the world? Why does that mean she has to be my nurse? <laughs> Those two don't. That oh, thank you for your. They're super just. Chat. They're just saying that you should put a ring on my finger because I agree, why wouldn't I you should. have married me already? I agree. I agree. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> anyway, this is us. This is my virgin pina colada that I uh, shamelessly ordered from the bartender. <laughs> Luckily, I think he thought that I was ordering it for like my little friend. I got like a. You got a sprite with vodka or something. Yeah. So you're like, vice is right. And <laughs> Virgin Pina Colada. And he definitely was like, oh, the kid wants that. <laughs> she was like all the way across the pool deck too. All right. So then okay. we went to New Orleans. This was outside. Of, what? Nothing. Um, I remember it rained a lot this day and we were worried that our boat swamp tour would get canceled. And then it didn't. And we were so excited. Yeah, that was cool. So this is us holding a baby gator that they had. 
Again, probably not. Don't know about the... Don't know about the ethics of this situation. Probably not dead. Probably, I don't but know if they're allowed the, to have gators. We didn't take the toy to hold the alligators. No, I didn't know that that, that was happening happened. until I was thrusted an alligator. They really wanted you to hold it. Yeah, <laughs> was I, did, like, I was in the family. But the tour was really cool, and it was just family just owned. The swamp, so. Tiny. It was just like that one guy. Do you remember? And then we sat in the car after trying to figure out where to go to eat, and he was like, "Excuse me, can you leave so I can go home?" Do you yeah. remember that? He yeah. had to like go home, <laughs> close the gate, and we were holding him up. Let's do. We got a few super chats. Okay. Hello from Norway. Are there more people from Norway watching? Oh, thank you. Wait, I don't know. Anyone else from Norway watching? Thank what you. Is, what's, what is 100 knock? Does know. anyone know the... Spin. Thank Aww. you for that. We will spin. Yeah, thank you. Bronwyn also did one. Let's see. Let's spin. Someone said that we're like one. We're getting better with age. Oh. Right? Yeah. Tickle Shane. Wow. This one is <laughs> You're so ticklish. I, I hope everyone that. else enjoys him being that ticklish. Cheat kiss. Couldn't really reach on that I one. Know. Is What's that your it? favorite beer? I think Blue Moon. It's probably my favorite beer. What was it? No. Nose? All right. Oh, this is a good one. I put this in solely for the food. So if anyone has ever been to California Pizza Kitchen, I hope that you have also ordered their butter cake. If you haven't, it is a vanilla cake that the tech, I can't really explain to you the consistency. It's coated in like sugar crystals. And then the rest of it's like butter. It's like gooey. Like melted butter. But it's like the best vanilla cake ever. So this is it. It comes with a scoop of haagen vanilla ice cream on top. This is Shane and I excited to have our butter cake. That was right after a Spinraza injection. Yeah, there was one right by the hospital in Pennsylvania where I used to do yeah. uh, injections. That was your first one. Was it? My mom was there. Yeah, my mom came for uh, Shane's yeah. first injection. That was her first visit ever. Like She met Shane's parents yeah. on that trip. Um, I mean, that was her only visit to Pennsylvania. But yeah, she came. And then your dad and my mom and us, we all stayed in a hotel. Yeah. By the hospital. Right by California Pizza Kitchen. And so Shane and I went to California Pizza Kitchen to what's, get just this cake. What's the furthest you've ever been away from home? Oh. For me, it was London or Paris. How about you? I'm trying to think of geographically furthest. Probably Africa. Croatia. Uh, yeah. Is that, but Africa, I don't think that that would have been as far. True, because you were on the east of Africa? Yeah. Or the west, I mean? Well, I've been to the Canary Islands, which is by Morocco, and then my family lived in Liberia for a little. When I, That was when I was really little. But I think that Croatia would be further. I know, or Slovenia, that might be even further than Croatia. I've been around Eastern Europe a lot because my mom's from Poland, so we would go visit. So yeah. probably just Eastern Europe in general is the furthest I've been. Can I see Betsy? Yes, if you have a California pizza kitchen near you that you haven't gotten a butter cake from, and you like vanilla cake, you really, really, really should try it. Someone says beer from Lone Rider. I'll have to try that. Oh, yeah. You. you will have to. Shawnee really wants to know, she keeps asking, if we worry about cheating or jealousy. Not really, no. No. We don't worry. That's not a worry. All Do right. you guys like the Minnesota ah. State Fair? We did not go last year the like we've only had one when she I, know, we were, I used to love it we, have to, we were like we're gonna we were so fair. excited and then every we're single day fair. like you'd see the news and it would be like three million people at the fair today and it would show a photo of like the crowds and i know how crowded it is and we just could not bring ourselves to do it yeah i wish we don't know because there's so much good food we'll I go know. this year We'll Fried mayonnaise. Aw, sorry that we didn't see it, Vanessa. Oh, are we doing a meetup in Florida? Oh. We don't know. I think so. If anyone wants us to do a meetup in Florida, can you let us know? Is anyone from Orlando or around? Marco Island? Orlando. I think we'll do it in Orlando. True, because we're not going to be in Marco Island for very long. So if anyone is from Orlando and thinks we should do a meetup. Shawnee is um, real happy that we answered the question. Uh -huh. Thank you, Shawnee. <laughs> um, yeah, I think around Orlando... We're thinking about doing one, but let us know if you are in that area. I'll try to read the comments. We should do one in Minnesota. We should. We live here. We should do one in Minnesota. We should do one in Minnesota. A lot of people have said they're from Minnesota also, so we really should. So, yeah, if anyone wants to do one in Orlando, we will. 
How many push-ups can you do, Hannah? That's funny. Can I'm you not, do push-ups? I can do push-ups. I don't know how many I can do. I don't really, I've never, I'm not the kind of person that likes to push right myself now? to the limit of exhaustion. So I have never found my limit of push-ups. I'll do like three or four and then I'm like, well, I'm mildly tired, so I should stop. You're a swimmer. That's the exact wrong sport for you to be in if you don't want to be exhausted. I'm just saying, like, for, I mean, swim practice, it's different if there's like people around you and you have to like make a time, but push-ups, I don't know. Thank you, Kevin. Oh, he left a longer message. Was it Kevin Joe? Yes, yeah, it was Kevin. Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. On the community page. Oh, thank you. Very thank much. you. We'll go find that after, right? So, yeah, we'll try to. And thank you, Maylin. Yeah. Are, are you we... subscribed to PewDiePie? No, we're not. <laughs> not because we don't like that channel. No. Just have never even looked at it I yet. I have never watched so one of his videos. Don't know if we like it or not. Yeah. All right. Um, All right sorry, I'm reading. I'm reading. I know. I'm trying to. <laughs> Hannah, why don't you have swimmer's hair? My hair used to be the frizziest, most horrible hair in the entire world. And then it changed. I think it's like one of those things where every seven years your cells change because it just became less yeah. frizzy. Yeah. I don't know. Someone said, I know someone that you're swim team, Hannah. Swim and team. I'm in the UK. Aw. Who do you know? Who do you know on my swim team? <laughs> All right, let's do more photos. Yeah, let's look. Um, oh. This is, okay, so Shane's dad, do you want to, I don't have to tell every story. Yeah, uh, my dad rides a motorcycle that has a sidecar, um, which back in the day allowed for me to take motorcycle rides. And this is a photo of Hannah and I taking our first motorcycle ride. We're right in there. In my dad's sidecar. Dad, if you're watching. We miss you and mom and the side tower. It was fun. It was very scary. Yeah. You're so close to the ground. It's just a different perspective. Yeah. You can like reach out and touch the yeah. ground. Well, you shouldn't do that. But it was very, it was fun. Then this is uh, a month later and we went to, so Shane loves soccer. I, like, I don't, I don't, just, I don't love soccer. That's fair. Okay. I don't love any, I whatever. And so we went to a soccer game. I don't love anything. I, I don't like sports. Just, anyway, so we went to this. It was actually very cool. It was nice outside. There was a breeze. Like, I liked that it was outdoors. This is at the Philadelphia Union soccer uh, game. Ah, yes. I, th yeah. I think the team would probably be important to people. My favorite team in the MLS is yeah. the Philadelphia Union. And Hannah got me this for my birthday. I think. I think it, it was Tickets? September. It yeah. might have just been for fun. Just to surprise me. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I miss the union. But I got him tickets to like show my support. Like even though I don't like it, I will go with you. You like the food, like the yeah. I got I got nachos with yeah. like that fake cheese. It was really good. Um, and then so I went back to school. We didn't see each other for like three months. This is sort of a theme. Then in December, I so my swim team always took a training trip to Florida. After that training trip, I flew to Pennsylvania, got Shane, and drove him back down to Florida for a little warmth trip for us. Yeah. So this was us in – we rented a house at the pool. And that's, that's us, us in the hot tub. In the hot tub. It was really fun. I love that hot tub. Yeah. That was like – was that last year? That was last year, yeah. Yeah, last year. Then, so straight from there, Shane was going to spend Christmas with my family. I had spent yeah. Thanksgiving with his. He was going to come to my house for... We drove down to Florida. Yeah, so then we drove up to, up Minneapolis. to Minneapolis. From Pennsylvania, we went to Florida, then up to Minneapolis to yeah. for Christmas. This is Shane at my house, and my brother Mike uh, photobombing us. That's just a cute photo. I bet Mike's watching. Huh? Maybe he is. Hi, Mike. Hi, Dr. Mike. <laughs> Uh, and then for my birthday, Shane had gotten me tickets to the Phantom of the Opera. So this is us at the Orpheum Theater in Minneapolis that we love, about to see a show. I'm wearing the same hat. Oh, my hat. You even stole my hat all the way back then. I wore the brown brown before the brown brown <laughs> was even a thing. That was a year before YouTube. But I had custody of the hat. Like, when you went home, I kept it. Yeah. It was my hat. Yeah. For the record. I also have a scarf on in that photo. Oh, look. More evidence of my brown brown. So, we drove back to Pennsylvania to drop Shane off, basically. And, uh, not we. I drove him back, and then I was going to fly home. We got stranded in... 
what town? Streetsboro, Ohio. Literally stranded. It a snowed car, so hard. It was snowing and a car spun out on the highway in front of us and missed us. Like I, it wasn't even by an inch. Like it was, I'm, I'm shocked that it didn't yeah. touch us. So made sure they were okay. And then we, yeah, they didn't hit anything. It was amazing. Right. Yeah, they, they just they stopped. Ron and I kept going. We were like, yep. oh, it was so scary. It was so scary. But we yeah, actually, after that, we were like, you know what? We're done. This might be done to keep driving. So we went and found a hotel. And yeah. Did you show the photo? Yeah, I did. Oh. So that's us. I just want to show my brown brown again. Oh, Shane's wearing the hat again. That's not important. So then that was December. I didn't see Shane for another couple of months because of school. I hope that people are actually following this timeline. It's been disjointed with like all of our yeah. other interruptions. This is a pretty good summary, summary of it's our a relationship. Summer, yeah. Thank you, John. I flew to Pennsylvania for the last time. Let me just answer, John. Oh. Make content. That is our biggest advice. Yeah. And just be consistent. And keep creating. We did YouTube for like six months before we really like before people got got, like a lot. We had yeah. four thousand subscribers for a while, and then we had like, Chris's video went big, and that got us on like the YouTube algorithm. But we already had a lot of content for people to watch, which made a difference because like if they click and there's nothing there, they're not going to subscribe. Yeah, so, so I didn't make content. Just have stuff up. Yep. Yeah. So then I flew to Pennsylvania for the last time. March 12th last of time. last year, so almost a year ago. And this is Shane and Shane's dad and I in the car on the way home from the airport. He had picked us up or picked me up. They had picked me yep. up. So they got my trusty net brace on. Yeah. Aw. And then we went down to North Carolina. Shane and his cousin Sarah used to do speaking speaking engagements around Pennsylvania um, for their nonprofit. And this was their last in-person speaking engagement together. And the first one I ever got to see you do. So this is us right before they went yeah. on. Down in North Carolina. Actually at the school that um, Sarah's dad, my uncle, was the, or is the uh, Principal. Principal. I was going to say president. <laughs> the principal of. Yeah. Um, so we spoke to their whole school, and it was a really great laugh. And I got to meet your Yeah, your family. Yeah. Yeah. I have a bunch of family in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Yeah. Two of my uncles and their family. Yep. Families. And then straight from there, Shane and I went to Ocean City, Maryland for, I think, like one night. Because yeah. remember, we had to leave... For like Minnesota. Shane had to, we had to leave Pennsylvania with him to get back here because my next term was starting. So we didn't have a lot of time, but we went to Ocean City for the second year in a row that same week, which was kind of fun. This is Shane all bundled up on the boardwalk. I think that's your scarf. That's that is my there. scarf. It was so cold. It was really freezing. <laughs> and ooh, okay. <laughs> in Ocean City, this is your favorite photo of all. This is my favorite. Okay, so in Ocean City, there are a number of restaurants uh, that are. Like, they stick out in my mind. Some of my favorites. Like, when I think of Ocean City, I think of these restaurants. And one of them is the Bayside Skillet. That is, like, a brunchy-type place. Um, we actually have a mug from them. Like, we bought a mug from this restaurant. I was, I'm, like, so in love with it. Uh, and they have these hot chocolates where they, like, crust the rim with cinnamon sugar. Like, it's just, it's the little things, you know what I'm saying? And uh, they have, this was a, a Nutella strawberry crepe. Which is like your favorite food. Yep. That's my ideal breakfast right there. Yeah. And I have a you know decent human you have an breakfast. Omelet. You have an omelet. I doubt the savory. I don't believe that breakfast should be sweet. Shane, we're not having this discussion. I'm so against that. Oh, that was so good. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. And then we drove home and the next day we had the photo shoot for your book. Yep. That was when we shot the cover of me holding Shane. And it was on the cover of my upcoming book because there's a bunch of stories about her in it. And it's called Strangers to See My Girlfriend is My Nurse. So it, yeah. it made sense for the cover. Anyway, when we were there, the photographer, Matt Carr, took a photo of us just for us to have. Well, actually, is it going to be in your book as like an author's thing or not? I, no. This might just be, I think this is just, just for, for us. us. Yeah. Matt Carr is a phenomenal photographer. And so I would check him out on. He did all the photos for Shane's children's book yep. and the cover of his book. Yeah. And was it the cover of your first book too? Yep. He's done all my books. Aww. Yeah. He's really great. Then we drove to Minnesota and this is us outside of our apartment. Shane got to see it for the first time. Yeah. Because the way that all went down, 
you had to sign the lease prior to my arrival. So that I signed it on Valentine's Day. Yeah. yeah. So that it would be like ready for us when we got there. Yeah. Uh, when I got there. And uh, yeah, a season day apartment that we would be living in together for the first time after like two days of driving and like moving out of my yeah. parents' house. It was a cool moment. Yep. It was so exciting. Very happy moment. So that was March 21st when we arrived here. There was not a warm day. That day was pretty warm. We're in like long sleeve shirts. It continued to snow for all of March and most of April. April 21st is the first day and we took this photo outside. It was the first day it was warm and we sat outside for like three hours. I distinctly remember it because it's very important the first day it becomes warm. That used to be my favorite hat and I lost it. No, it's in that basket. It's right over there. We have that hat? Yeah. It's right over there. Well, why why do you think that you lost it? Lost? I don't know. Uh, Sabrina said, why don't you get a better apartment that is better suited for Shane's chair? So we couldn't find one. We had to be in this town where my college is and there were zero accessible apartments. So this was the one that was like the most easily made accessible. So the hallways yeah. are really hard for him to navigate in. The front isn't accessible. So I put a ramp out every time we come in and out. Yeah. But there's no option. I yeah. think people don't realize how inaccessible most houses are next my parents house we had to they built a 12 foot ramp to get him inside next time you're driving around keep an eye out on how many houses have like at least one step yeah to get in the front door it's something that if you don't need to worry about it you probably never even notice it yeah but so many houses so when we're yeah one or more steps when we're house hunting that's going to be really interesting trying to figure out I can't wait to vlog about finding our next apartment yeah. or house or whatever we end up doing. Yeah. Um, that's going to be really cool there. A little and probably frustrating. Well, yeah, it's <laughs> just going to take a while. Yeah. And we have to move out of here like right after I graduate. So there's no way we're getting an apartment right away. Yeah. It's just going to take a really long time to find a good yeah. apartment. We'll see. We got a super chat we need to swim for. Oh. Thank you, Shreddy Betty. Oh, so which one of you can handle the most spice? Me, but I can't handle a lot. Yeah, I'd probably have. I'm weak, but Shane's weaker. Nose kiss. Nose kiss. Oh, I want to taste your nose. Oh, yeah, you were like. <laughs> I was confused as to if I should go up or down. Uh... Do you guys argue? You seem so happy by Alexa asked mm -hmm. that. We argue. We don't really argue about like big stuff. Yeah, we haven't had. We haven't really had a huge. Days. The most anger I've ever gotten, at Shane. We've talked about this before. Is when he said that football was harder than swimming. The other one that I like got so physically angry at you, like I could like feel it in my soul, was when we were fighting over whether the singer in Pentatonix was a guy or a girl. In like one part of the song. Yeah, it was just that one person. And I knew that it was a, a man. Like I know that he identifies as a man. Like it was a, a male person for sure. And Shane was convinced that this was a girl singing. He was like, no, it's this other girl. And I was wrong. You were wrong. And I really believed it too. I, I was did. so, so frustrated with you. We were driving. I remember that. <laughs> so we actually talks about um the question is <laughs> someone, like how do we handle what someone said that their echo dots started talking when i said alexa oh my god i love that i wonder if ours began ours is in the other room um what was the question i lost it oh how do we handle caregiving when we fight we actually did talk about this in our first q a right yeah it just i mean it really just makes us have to communicate better and practice like communicating even when we're angry and you know, kind of like setting aside the argument so yeah like if i need to use the bathroom it really helps yeah it helps communication yeah. because like if he has to pee like i'm gonna have to come over and then we have to like work out our argument so it yeah. does help with communication it does our arguments don't last very long yeah thank you holland oh thank you let's just been for holland hold on we're almost done with photos okay sure i guess let's let's and there's like two or three in there I already did some though while you were talking. Nice, nice. Yes. You're not very enthusiastically kissing my nose. Smooch. Smooch. Snuggle. Snuggle. Mm. All right. So mm. the next photo. 
Oh, it's the first time my dog, Bella. So Bella was a little bit hesitant around Shane at first. Bella is a little bit hesitant. She's, she likes, she says like, she licks your hand in the morning and like greets you and stuff. At the beginning, she was jealous. She didn't want Shane near me. In, yeah. Around you. Just around, like in the house, basically. Yeah. Uh, like, like she would come in in the morning because she would always, her routine is to greet us in bed in the morning. Like she rolls around and is like really excited. She like found Shane in my bed for the first time and was like really angry and growled at you and left. Do you remember that? She was upset at him Often and I felt terrible. Yeah. Like, she's a very vocal dog. Even now when she sees Hannah getting me ready in the morning, she moans. she's like, <laughs> she moans to herself. <laughs> so this is the first time she laid down next to Shane. It was very cute. You can't really. She's too dark in this photo, but it was a moment. Shane was pretty excited. I was excited. It was really cute. She touched you, like she laid down touching you, which yeah. was big. Um, and then this is a family photo, so Aww. that's just nice. My brother and his wife and four kids live right near us, so in the summer they're always over. Yeah. Thank you, Melissa. Oh, thank you. It's just been for Melissa. Yeah. <laughs> Tickle Shane. Tickle Shane. Okay. Okay. Aww. <laughs> thank you, puppy kitten. I like how Jed Black says not all some practices are at 4 a.m. Swimming is way easier than football. Mm, I disagree. Nope. We're not having this fight right now. Sure. Um. Oh, this is our first time going to Harry's. So Harry's is one of our favorite restaurants. Someone made a comment on our recent video that we have too many favorite restaurants. Did they really? Yeah, and I think that's true. It is. We have like five favorites and no like second tier. We don't go anywhere else. As soon as we like a restaurant, we identify <laughs> as it being our favorite restaurant. Huh? <laughs> oh, we're sorry about that. Is that our last photo? Is it? I don't think so. Fred Rutgers is also my favorite restaurant. It's not our last photo. Fred Rutgers is not your favorite restaurant. Three, we have three more photos. Three more photos. Yeah. Have you guys enjoyed this format of like sharing photos? Yeah. Do you like our photos? We could do other ones of like childhood photos or uh, travel photos. True. Childhood would be fun. Yeah. People are saying, yeah, they like it. Thank you. Aww. All right. Okay. Let's do. Um, Okay, so this is um, this was this past summer with us living together and everything, and we visited my friend Helen, who had just moved to Chicago. Yeah. So Chicago is like six hours south of us, and we drove out. She took this photo of us. Not south. East, yeah. East. Is Chicago east of us? Mm -hmm. Oh, geez. I guess it is. I think of it as being south. It's like southeast. It's not. It's not. It's not due us. east. Yeah. No, it's southeast. Yeah. Okay. Way more east than south. Okay. Yeah. Then we went, so that was actually on our way to Pennsylvania to visit Shane's family and go to his nonprofit's 5K. So this is a photo of us at the 5K. This photo was taken by a friend of mine who's a really good photographer named Jeremy Cohen. If you want to check him out on Instagram. It's very cool photos. You'll be entertained for a long time yeah. looking at Jeremy's photos. Yep. If you do, tell Jeremy that... Uh, I we sent, sent you. you. Say we hi. Sent you. We sent you. All right. We sent him. This is the last photo. We sent you. Okay. Perfect. That's all right. Don't the get worked up. Don't get worked up. Is the pack. And the pack of the wolf no. is the strength. Baby. I messed it no, up. That's not right. Okay. This is the last photo. Ooh, I, no, never mind. Go ahead. What? I was going to tell that embarrassing story from the joke that I made in there. With the uh, speech the other day. My failed. Not not do you remember that? Oh, you can tell that story, sure. I do virtual visits for my nonprofit, and that means I Skype basically just like this uh, with schools all over the U.S. And I was doing one a few days ago for a group of like really young kids, like first or second graders. And during these things, the kids are able to ask me questions that they have. So I, uh, a kid came up and was like, what is your favorite joke? I'm blind. I did not think of any joke that I know. The only one that came into my head was the one that is like, not, not, who's there, banana, banana who? Not, not, who's there, banana, banana, you know? 
So I attempted to answer the sense of a new joke, but also do that. So, not not, and all the kids go, who's there? And I go, orange. And they all go, orange who? And I go, oh no, in my head. I did the joke wrong. Like I did it the wrong way. So, trying to figure out how to make this joke funny, because I've ruined it, I just kept repeating myself. Orange, orange here, orange, orange here. They started dying. They thought it was so funny, even though it didn't have a punchline. So, and what did you, and what was your punchline? What did you say? At the end, I was just like, not, not. They're like, who's there? And I was like, this joke doesn't have a punchline. Terrible uh, ending, but the kids loved it, apparently. Shane says they loved it. All the teachers in the room had to be like, yeah, they don't get it. Two <laughs> things. Miss Glorious Goop would like a shout out. So hello. Hi. And then Billy wants to know if he can email us with an app idea. Anyone can feel free to email us. That is just our public email. So, yes. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Now. This is our last photo. It is, so after the 5K in Pennsylvania, we drove down to New Orleans where Shane was going to the youth, the young adult literature YALSA conference, which is like the American Library Association Young Adult Literature Conference because his book was getting the Cybert Award. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. It was really, really cool. Um, anyway, so we had to make our way down to New Orleans and we stopped in Mobile, Alabama. And some of you may remember the story that we told in an earlier vlog a while ago, very long time ago, about Shane uh, throwing yeah, up, up in a restaurant in a quaint restaurant in Mobile. I don't. If you haven't seen that video, you should really watch it. Not my best moment. Not his best moment. But we happened to take a photo at that restaurant. This is the day before this happened. So we went, went, you know, went home. The next morning, we showed up and puked in the restaurant. So this is us, like. <laughs> Being really excited about this uh, restaurant, <laughs> smiling with the name. Isn't that so funny? Aww. Little did we know that the next day, Shane would throw up inside of it. All over myself. All over it. In front of everyone. That's when the people, we walked in and they were like, you're back. Like, how have you been? How was your day? And yeah. we were like, it's so great. We love this town. And then Shane threw up in their restaurant. So it was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. We had like a personal connection with them. Uh, that full story is in. An earlier vlog, if you want to find it. Yeah. All right. That is all of our photos. Um, you have to go soon, so why don't we uh, hop off? This has been really fun. Thank you to everyone who has joined us and yeah. sent us super chats. We really appreciate that. Um, and to you, babe. Yeah. Happy three years. Happy three years. Let's do one more spin for good measure. One more spin. Should be. This will be our last spin. Our last spin. Snuggle. Oh, we can snuggle. All right. Say bye. Everyone have a good day and thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you for joining so us. So much. Bye. Bye.